Here is a list of the most compelling comments we have received in the last five days. Want to get on it? Leave a constructive and positive comment below to increase your chances, and we'll choose the best ones. Mom and daughter gobbled up food when foster son went hungry. Then a stranger stepped in. You might say the world is cruel, and we won't interrupt you by telling you you are wrong. Yes, sometimes people are ruthless and unethical. You may notice it in public when someone throws litter on the ground after the janitor was cleaning it all morning long. Or when people are rude to waitresses who try to serve them. But this story is obviously more bitter than anything you've ever witnessed before. Imagine the scene. You're sitting in a restaurant enjoying your meal when you notice a family where a mom sits with her son and daughter. There is something peculiar about them that draws your attention. You see that the little boy is black while his mother and sister are white. It makes you think he might be adopted. At first, you respect the mother who decided to help the kid and provide him with a better life. But in a few minutes, that feeling begins to fade and turns into something completely the opposite. When you accidentally eavesdrop on the snippets of their conversation, you catch them troubling. There is something wrong with the way the mother talks to her kids, and you can clearly hear it. When they sat at their tables, the little boy seemed to be extremely happy and grateful, politely telling his mom, Thank you so much for bringing me here. You're welcome. But then, things begin to take a drastic turn. When the waitress comes over, the mother stops her son from ordering what he wants. Can I get a milkshake, mommy? Yeah, what kind? Uh, vanilla. Can we do a quick okay. vanilla yeah, milkshake? Yeah, sure. No, 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 just one. Just one. Just one? Yeah. Meanwhile, the son is drinking water and looks disheartened when the waitress leaves. And when she comes back with the milkshake... Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Wow. Here you go, darling. That looks really delicious. You can have her leftovers. You are sincerely baffled by what you have just seen. It's quite clear the mother is favoring the girl over the boy. And what's even worse, it's not the end of the mother's shameful behavior. At that moment, the daughter starts drumming her hands on the table. The sound is obviously annoying for the other visitors in the restaurant. The little boy joins his sister in a while, but then the mother does something unbelievable. Now you're being a bad influence to my daughter. Don't do that. She was showing me. It doesn't matter what she was doing. It matters what you were doing. And then the situation gets even worse. The waitress comes over once again with hamburgers and fries for the mother and girl, and only a plate of fries for the boy. How come I can't have a hamburger too? And her answer is genuinely appalling. Because I only get so much money a month. Stop. You need to be more appreciative, and if I send you back, no one's going to adopt you. Then she says he could be more appreciative and warns to send him back while mentioning that no one would adopt him one more time. At that point, you realize it's the final straw. You can't believe that such people on this planet can treat their adoptive kids in such a horrible way. So you step in and decide to tell this mother her behavior is simply unacceptable. You just can't stop yourself from crying out your opinion. But he's not my real son. I can't lie to him and say I'm going to keep him forever. I'm going to bring someone into your household and treat him the same way you would treat your kid. You say to the woman and an argument evolves. He's a child. He's fine. He's just having a bad day. I'm about to call the police. But then, out of the blue, you notice something out of the corner of your eye. What? Is it some kind of a joke? A big light, a camera, and a whole TV crew are walking towards you. Soon, you get the hang of what is going on. This is the whole scene that has been organized by the TV show, What Would You Do? In fact, the mother, daughter, and the son were all actors. Fortunately, there was no real abuse happening in the restaurant. Later, the TV show uploaded this video on YouTube and revealed there were a lot of other people who stepped in to help the little boy that day. For example, one woman heard that the mother refused the boy to order anything that cost more than $4. Can I have one too? Is there one under $4? I'll treat him to whatever he wants. Oh no, he's on a budget. It's okay. I'll, whatever he wants, I'll put it on my bill. The boy ran to her and gave her a huge hug and remained at her table for a while. It was obvious he didn't want to return to his mother. Then the woman hit upon a brilliant idea and whispered something to the boy. I want you to write your name down for me, okay? And your phone number. When she reached for a pen and paper, the TV crew appeared, showing her it was a setup. Later, the host asked the woman what she planned to do with this information. And what were you going to do with that? 
I was gonna call a reporter. <laughs> it's encouraging to see there are a lot of kind people who are likely to step in when they spot the abuse near them. It's kind of a guarantee that if this were to happen in real life, there is always someone who would help out. Unluckily, some foster parents still exist and take advantage of the system financially while neglecting their foster children. We really hope that this video would raise awareness among the people and that this problem can be eliminated one day for good.